What's going on hobby friends? My name is Phil and welcome to Yoshi's Painting. Today we're going to be painting some snow themed Necrons, so stay tuned. So we're going to take our assembled and primed Necron to the booth and airbrush a nice shade coat of Pro Krill's Grey Blue. Next, we're spraying a 3 to 1 titanium white to gray blue mix from about 45 degrees to top down on the miniature. While getting the wet palette ready for the next steps, let's talk about airbrushing. If you don't have an airbrush, you can certainly accomplish the same steps with a rattle can. Just find a blue gray to use as the undercoat and a light true gray for the highlight coat. This will give you very similar results. I'm painting the endoskeleton with Pro Krill's Dark Silver Metallic. The idea here is to establish a nice dark contrast comparative to the white plates while still giving the robotic vibe by using a metallic versus a standard dark gray or black. To finish off the exoskeleton, I'm edge highlighting with bold titanium white from Pro Krill. Just highlighting the top facing edges of the plates and some lines along the arms where the light would be strongest will help give the model a little bit more pop while looking at our little Necron. Don't forget to drop in highlights on the T-zone of his face, the nose, the cheeks, the chin, and as well as areas like his collarbone and maybe the upper portion of each rib section on his uh, exoskeleton. Continuing our highlights, I'm using Pro Krill Silver to edge highlight the endoskeleton to give us some additional depth and separation between the various joints.
Going back to the airbrush, I'm spraying a bit of white ink on the barrel of the gun, the vents, and the hoses. This will give a base layer for the next step and help establish a nice glow effect. Next up is transparent purple. With the base layer of the white under this layer, it sets up that nice glow effect emanating from the center of the tube, vents, and hoses on our weapon. Admittedly, I got a bit heavy handed with the transparent purple, so I had to come back with the plum and re-establish the glow on the tube. This just goes to show that accidents happen, and a little bit can go a long way sometimes. That being said, remember, nothing isn't fixable when painting your minis. Here's another example of where I turned an accident into an opportunity. I came in with a transparent purple ink, hoping that I can fade it from the back of the tubes to the center to stab further establish that glow effect. It wasn't the case, however, because the ink was way too thick. I tried to water it down to get it to run out, but that wasn't working either. So what I ended up doing was just kind of stippling on the transparent ink to make it look like there was some plasma going on in the gun barrel. It was a happy little accident. I think it looks great, and I think I'm going to continue with that going forward. It just goes to show that sometimes mistakes turn into opportunities. So don't be afraid to experiment, because you never know. Your what if could turn out to be an awesome result. From here, just paint on some earth texture from Vallejo into any space of the base that isn't already covered with the cork. Once that's dry, go ahead and dry brush it with a gray to give it a stone look. First time using this AK Interactive Terrain Snow Paste, and I gotta tell you, I love it. It goes on great, and once dry, it looks like packed snow right on the base without a whole bunch of work. I highly recommend giving it a shot. As a final step, just paint the rim of the base black. You also have an opportunity here to go through and touch up any spots you might have missed or over painted while you were working on your mini. As we circle the mini, yes, I have mold lines. This is my test mini, so please put the pitchforks and torches away. So there they are, friends. Snow themed Necrons. Um, but yeah. I appreciate you guys hanging out so much. Thank you very much. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today and think you might like content in the future, uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button. And uh, we'll see you for the next project here on Yoshi's Painting. Bye-bye.